as per usual, support this content. The link below using PayPal helps me keep the program fresh and rolling for all of my little miracles. Just the start, U.S. banking crisis, close to 190 banks could collapse, according to a study. More studies. Three regional banks closures since March. Okay. Why are they failing? Federal Reserve's aggressive interest rate hikes to tape down inflation have eroded the value of bank assets such as government bonds and mortgage-backed securities. Yay. It's a coming... Probably a depression. I predicted this a few years ago. I'm a few years off. All right. Slow down. Yada, yada. It's definitely slow. For me, for summer. Thankfully, though, Google announces two new data centers coming to Central Ohio. Yep. Total over $2 billion so they can promote more climate change denial. And feed our... Addiction to data. U.S. Navy is hobbled by failures of, as risk of conflict with China looms. Troubling findings on readiness among services. We're just not ready. We're hobbled by readiness failures among the four U.S. military service branches, according to Congressional uh, Auditor's a worrisome assessment. Resource readiness from 2017 to 21. The rest of the article is blocked. But you get the gist. Right? We're not ready. But maybe a single radical gets more media coverage than thousands of marchers. Really? The revolution will not be televised. Gil Scott Heron. My roommate also has never heard of this person. Shame on him. Yet recently in the UK, that statement is being challenged by disruptive environmental protesters. At the end of April, live on TV, animal rights protesters delayed the country's biggest horse race. So this is over. Horse race, but just stop oil also. Also did this and, um, you know, making a scene. The, the media was already unsympathetic. Moving on. I've already put this up, but I'm going to restate it for the record. The scourge of air pollution shows that the rich are exacerbating climate change. And the dynastically wealthy are leading the change. More than one in four extremely wealthy private jet owners inherited their wealth and are decimating the air quality for the rest of us. Yep, that's literally happening. Trust fund babies. Okay, private jets. They emit at least ten times more pollutants than commercial planes per passenger, per the report. And an estimated 1% of people are responsible for about half of all aviation carbon emissions. You know, that makes me think I wanted to go uh, volunteer, Peace Corps, go across the ocean and build shelters. But then I would be flying and traveling a bunch and I would just screw up the environment more. Okay. Horrified scientists are as sea surface temperatures spike off the charts. This is getting ridiculous. I think I already covered this, but, you know, again and again. Again and again. As Beckwith would say. What's this? World faces terminal loss of Arctic sea ice during summer's report, warns. This was published the 22nd. I mean, sorry, November 7th, 2022. Common crisis pushed the planet's stores of ice to a widespread collapse that was unthinkable just decades ago. Even if the planet emissions are radically cut, the world's vast ice sheets at the poles will continue to melt away for hundreds of years. You know, but sea level rises are is coming, but it's it's a slow roll. More so, we got to be concerned with the broken jet stream. I'm gonna skip ahead here to this one. Look at that. You can tell me that's normal. You think that's normal? What? Omega block. That's what we're getting. The sixth mass extinction is further along than we thought. It's getting late. Published May second, a few days ago. Undergoing mass extinction in its 4.6 billion year history. There may be a time lag between when humans implement environmental actions and when these actions could be animal uh, when these actions affect animals. Meaning 
The effects of this mass extinction could be locked up up until 2050. During, despite this time lag, a concentrated and global conservation effort. Yeah, yeah, we've extinguished, been extinguished before, but we're not coming back. So dumb arguing with people. I've already quoted this one, but uh, it's just worth noting. First of many heat records to shatter. All right, it's going to be a dicey next couple years. Greenland lost in hyperdrive. Extreme event on global scale. Unusual pattern, extreme event. That doesn't, in areas that don't fit with merely an El Nino. This is a huge signal. I think it's going to take some level of effort to understand it. Like why, why parts of the ocean warmed up so fast. Warmed 0.4 C in just 10 to 14 days. University of Colorado's. He found stretches across the equator from South America to Africa, including both the Pacific and Indian Oceans, responsible for much of the global temperature spike. Which is crazy. And then you have assholes like this. Kennedy, this is Dr. Ken Senator John Kennedy. This asshole, you've seen him before. He's being like a 12 year old and it's like, uh, if we spend that much, 50 trillion to become carbon neutral, okay, this is a lie. You know, how much is that gonna reduce world temperatures? He keeps asking him, he asks the deputy energy secretary and instead of being able to answer, he keeps saying, so how is it gonna reduce world temperatures? So how's it gonna reduce world temperatures? You don't know, do you? You don't know, do you? Being an asshole. Avoid these people. If you don't know, why don't you tell me? I know what I am, but what are you? Yeah. I need ammo. Lots of ammo. This is pointless. Don't do this. Go buy ammo. And save it. Save it. Cities can be subjected to twice as much temperature increase, so what can be done? Because of heat island effects. More than half the world's population lives in cities, and this figure is li likely to rise by more than two-thirds by 2030. But yet we have all this energy we need, you know, and they're just going to become ovens. Yeah, it's really big and stupid. Air conditioning, all of it. We can paint roofs white. Yeah, yeah. Just makes you want to vomit, right? Many Americans believe that climate change is mostly caused by human activity, but few report making changes to help limit it. Same report came out in the UK. This was published yesterday. New Ipso finding that Americans are split on what is causing climate change, if it is happening at all, okay? Something that hasn't changed in the past five years, yet Americans who believe it is caused by human activity, they can most agree that people can slow or reverse it, but aren't willing to modify their behavior. Nope, too easy to go to Sam's Club. Too easy to order Burger King and have it delivered to your door, Okay. We, well, only half of us believe that it's actually caused by human activity. I mean, that's how pathetic, that's how sad this ape race is. We can't even look at science. And The collective step stupidity has outnumbered any resemblance of intelligence and um, reasoning, okay? Any of it has been drowned out by collective stupid and indoctrination and propaganda by the system of triple whammy. Toledo Blade wants to make me pay for ads, and I'm not going to do that. Okay. Makes Lake Erie Goal obsolete, expert says. There's to achieve a 40% reduction in western Lake Erie phosphorus. Okay. Apparently, they didn't want me to read that, but it doesn't work. India's cost of adapting to climate change needs $1 trillion by 2030. Meanwhile, my subscriber... Good old Nas just told me that half a million were, people were flying in one day in India. It means one tr trillion to adapt, okay? Where's it going to come up with one trillion? And they can't even, like, feed their people, okay? Get real. It's over. It is over. New York tries to take a big step towards renewable energy and historic climate win, though. Shift you to utilities away from private companies and make them publicly owned. Pass legislation that will scale the state's renewable energy production. Yay. Generate all of its electricity from clean energy by 2030 when the planet is completely shot to hell. Okay, do you see the meteor coming? Do you see the asteroid headed for us? It's getting ugly, even for people 
freedom-loving squares off against in climate change in the Arizona desert. You know, these rich hippies and boomers have, you know, their own water supply, but, you know, they got to share it, and they're in the middle of a massive drought. But, you know, sports ball, keep it going. Let's Let's have a festival out in the middle of the desert and keep turning the lights on in Vegas. All right, this has been your Rapid Fire News Roundup. My name's Regan the Doom Wizard. May 5th. Hit like and subscribe, and feel free to donate to this channel, as I keep public journalism open, only supported by your donations. Alrighty, talk to you later. Have a good weekend.